welcome to my winter houseplant tour collection. I'm a crazy plant lady. All right, so when you walk into my office, the first plants you see is this little family of plants right here. This one is my Birds of Paradise. She is majestic to say the least. This is a very tropical kind of palm looking plant that is found a lot in like Florida. So far so good, she looks good. She started getting like these little splits in her leaves which is totally normal for this plant. Normally they do that when um, they feel like a lot of wind. So in nature, their leaves will split just so that they can, you know, survive the wind. Oh. Who is that? Mommy's doing a plant tour. The planties. I love you. If you see um, fluffy white stuff on the floor, it's because Peanut destroys all of her toys and then she just fluffs all the fluff everywhere. Yeah, I love her. Um, I don't think she's a super high maintenance plant. The only thing is that they love humidity and they love bright and direct light. They can even handle direct light on them, but I haven't been doing that. I just want to say a huge thank you and a shout out to Ana Luisa for sponsoring this video. If you guys have not heard of Ana Luisa, then you should. They are a sustainable and trendy and high quality at fair prices jewelry brand that I recently discovered and I am obsessed with them. I love their jewelry pieces. They're so simple but so stylish and really trendy and I love how all of their pieces match with whatever you have in your jewelry correction, correction, collection <laughs> easily. But what I love most about them is that they are sustainable. They have a carbon neutral policy. That basically means that they offset 100% of the carbon emissions that it takes to produce a piece of jewelry, which I think that's really cool because the planet needs more companies and brands that give a shit about the environment. So I appreciate that. Most of their pieces start at $39 and up, and I think that there is something there for every style of jewelry accessorizing that you might love. I love, personally, how easy the jewelry, like the necklaces, can stack with each other. I'm just obsessed with it, and I think this little combo that I have on is forever my favorite. Right now, they're having the biggest sale of the year, which is buy one, get one 40% off, and if you spend over $150, you get a free travel case, which I think that's really cool. We always love free gift and a discount. So to shop the biggest sale of the year, just click the link in my bio and I hope that you guys enjoy them just as much as I do. I think they'll make a perfect gift for yourself, for somebody else. I also want to say how much I appreciate that my jewelry is making this outfit look really chic. <laughs> These pants are just comfy and I just want to be comfortable. Leave me alone. So this plant right here, I have been wanting one of these for so long. At first, I thought this was a Monstera family plant, but she's actually not. This is a plant completely in its own little genome of plants. I don't even know if that's a word. When I bring a plant that I know I'm not gonna remember their name, I have this cool um, DeBoss label maker that I bought on Amazon. I'll link it below if you guys are interested. Label them because I tend to forget their name. This is the Raphidora tetrasperma. And the reason I really love this plant is because when it grows out in new leaf, it has these really cool splits. It looks a lot like the Swiss cheese plant, but it's not. And I also found this cute pot at Marshall's for like 13 bucks, which is the perfect little spot for her. Yo con mi hermanita en la tarima, yo la bailarina en Puerto Rico. Y yo creo que este era... In this corner, I keep most of my high humidity loving plants. So that's why I have this humidifier right here. Oh, she just went on. Perfect timing. I have this humidifier here that I got as a gift. Um, they sell it on Amazon. It's an Ella Combs humidifier. I'll link it below if you guys are interested. I feel like ever since I got the humidifier, this plant started thriving more. And this one was less crackly and brown. So I think it's helping. Over here, I got another plant that I bought at Brooklyn Plantology. This is a Calithia, Calithia medallion. Yeah, we're just gonna call it that. <laughs> I bought it because I was just mesmerized by the leaves. Um, it has this beautiful like variegation pattern on the leaves and I think it's so pretty. Like how the heck does nature produce something so beautiful? Like it's ridiculous. And then the bottom is purple, like, how do you even get purple? I really love this plant. 
but I am struggling with her. She is always like sad like this. I don't know. She <gasps> oh my god. Oh, I just noticed a new growth right there. Oh my god, do you see it? Sorry, I take it back. She's thriving. Okay, you see that little egg roll right here? That's a new growth. Ah, I'm so excited. Yo, seriously, I get so excited when my plants have a new growth. Like, it makes me so happy. Does that mean that I'm like such an old lady right now? I guess she's thriving. I take it back. Um, but yeah, they love humidity and they do not like um, direct sun. So I have her over here in this wall where she gets mostly medium bright indirect light throughout the day. But oh my god, I'm so excited. Oh my gosh. Oh, yay, 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 Dios mío, que linda, Dios mío, Dios mío, this makes me so happy. Anyways, over here I have my favorite plant ever. My Monstera Deliciosa, it, she's my favorite. I mean, there is not a plant more beautiful and more majestic than fucking the Monstera. Like, look at that leaf. How do you beat that leaf, bitch? Like, how does she even... That's perfection. So this plant I got as a very young plant. It had maybe, it looked kind of like this bottom portion when I got it. It had no split leaves and I was kind of concerned that I bought the wrong plant. I was like, why has she not got any splits? Like what the hell's going on? And over the summer, she started growing a few new leaves and then they started splitting. So you can see it right there. This was her first split leaf. And then she grew another little one over here. And I was like, oh my God, que linda tu eres, Dios mío. Recently, in the winter actually, she just pushed out this new growth. This has been her most beautiful leaf to date. It has all of the splits that you can want in a Monstera. And then this one over here, she's doing her thing. I don't know, this one just hangs out over here. But this one's gorgeous as well. I did add a moss pole to it so that she would stop growing this crazy. But, you know, just to keep her going upright because Monstera likes to grow like sideways. And she's gorgeous. Oh my god, look at that shot right now. Oh yeah. She's so beautiful. I look at this plant every single day. I care for her so much. You're gorgeous, girl. Another reason I love the Monstera is because they're very low maintenance for care. I haven't had to do much with this plant and she's just doing her thing. I've never had a problem with her. Knock on wood. Her name is Lucy, by the way. She's gorgeous. She's such a Lucy, right? Am I the only crazy person that names their plants? Please tell me that I'm not the only one and let me know if you name your plants and what is your favorite plant currently and her name, please, or his name. Over here in this corner, I have my Dracenia, Dracenia, Dracenia. I, excuse me, I am gonna butcher a lot of names, but she is a Dracenia marginata. A super easy plant to care for. They like bright, indirect light. Kind of dried up usually when you see this at the edges of the leaves, that means they're a little dry. That is her pushing out a new growth. I haven't named this one yet, um, so let me know what I should name her. All right, now we're on to this little corner of my plant office. I'm gonna call this my plant office because it's more of a place for my plants than it is for myself. Okay, so this little stand here I got from Ikea. It never had this many plants until recently. I have a problem. Yes, I will admit it. Okay, so up here I have a Wandering Jew plant. It's like a Trandiscantia something. When I got this plant, I had a cutting like this big. And then I planted her. It grew all of these little pieces. These are super, super easy to take care of. They just like some bright indirect light. Water them when they're kind of, um, the soil is dry. So you stick your finger in there and see if the soil is dry. This is a lot of plants to go through. I think I'm just gonna talk about the plants in my office today and then in another video, I'll do the plants in my bedroom and the plants in my kitchen, whatever. Um, okay, so over here, this is my latest edition. Skindapsis Silver Satin, um, and she was $24.95. So they call this sometimes the Satin Pothos, um, but I am obsessed with this plant so, so much. I can't wait for her to grow super full and vine all over my freaking thing here. The leaves has this really beautiful silver shimmer to them. It's ridiculously, incredibly 
beautiful. This is my Chundis Kentia Nanook. This plant is so resilient. Literally, you can chop it up into a million pieces and it'll just continue to grow little babies like that. This plant grows so fast, so much, and it's so easy to propagate. It's just so pretty. I loved it because of the little like zebra pink and green stripes, but I love her. She just does her thing and doesn't bother anybody. They do light bright and direct light. I know I'm talking a lot in this video. Um, if you guys want like a specific video on like maybe propagation or a care of a specific plant, let me know because I know like I'm talking a lot. <laughs> Down here in this little corner, I have some propagations going. This is a wandering Jew propagation that I have. I love gifting plants, so I want to propagate a new one. There's a lot of roots growing in there already. And over here, I just have a few propagations of my skin baptises. Here I have my pothos and my wandering Jew is also propagating in here. I gotta fill up the water. These little brown dots. Those are nodes, so they usually form roots. And yeah, I stuck a pothos cutting in there too so that they can help grow some roots faster. Apparently it helps, I don't know, we'll see. So that was this little corner. Now we're gonna flip to this side of my room. Oh my God, I hurt my eyes. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna start in this little corner right here. This is my snake plant. Um, this is the most common and basic houseplant there is. Super low maintenance, super easy to take care of. They don't need too, too much light. They will survive with little lights or like, not no lights, but just like minimal light. <laughs> I'm telling you that I'm so shocked that I am a plant person because I have killed all of my plants. And now looking back, it's mostly because I didn't educate myself on how to take care of the plant. And I think that if you are a plant killer like I was, like I had a black thumb, literally, you just gotta learn what the plant needs. And once you learn what the plant needs, like, <laughs> she's gonna thrive, honey, okay? I have over here two hanging pothos. That's a potho right there. And then this is also a pothos. These are the easiest house plants ever. I was gifted this uh, Marble Queen Pothos as a housewarming gift when I moved to Long Island City and I killed it almost. There was only one, two branches left surviving and that's when COVID hit and then I started propagating her and I made like three new plants out of her. So these are super resilient, easy beginner plants. I highly recommend them. You just water them when the soil is dry, give them some moderate light. They don't need tons and tons of light, but I love them so much because they vine. So you see, this is all like vining, 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 and they're always growing. Yeah, so this one's the same, another Marble Queen Pothos that I propagated. I got these macrame plant hangers on Amazon. So if you're interested, I'll link those in the description box. I have a whole plant shop, Amazon favorites kind of thing on my Amazon account. So I'll link that below on all the things that I've been using to take care of my plants. So this is my Wandering Jew that I recently got from Home Depot. I'm actually gonna take her down because I think some of the leaves are getting a little crispy oh no oh no 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 um yeah so this is the wandering jew she is beautiful and i don't know why they call it wandering jew but anyways i think she's getting burnt because a lot of the leaves are actually getting a little crispy and brown so i'm gonna have to pluck those off and put her somewhere where she gets less bright direct light i just wanted her to get some light when she came home. But anyways, I'll move that one later. Yeah, this is my crazy plant lady obsession haul. <laughs> if you guys want more planty content from me, I did start like a plant Instagram just because I love plants and I'm obsessed with it. So I like to connect with other people who love plants. So if you guys want to follow me there, check out my plant Instagram, I'll link it below. It's Miss Millennial, no, what is it? It's Millennial Plant Chica, so. And before we go, I just want to say thank you again to Ana Luisa for sponsoring this video. Go check out their jewelry in the link in my description box to get their biggest sale of the year. I'm literally obsessed with this combination of my jewelry and um, I really like it. <laughs> Anyways, I love you guys and I'll see you guys tomorrow for a brand new video for Vlogmas. Okay, bye! I just want to tell you, you're beautiful and 
I love you so much. And don't ever stop being you. Yes, thank you. Thank you, my pretty girl. Oh my god. Hi guys. Enjoy my bed, Peanut. Enjoy my bed.